called, pretty original title, Boston Christmas Tree Poem. <laughs> hey Boston, what'd you get for Christmas this year? A big green tree with needles sharp and scent so clear. What about in 2010? I also got a tall tree then. And so goes the tradition. Boston and Nova Scotia are friends. Halifax and Boston forged a link way back when. Tragedy struck and Boston stepped up. We owe so much to them. And so let us present a tree. How beautiful thy branches reach, roots deep into the ground, heartbeats pulse a subtle sound, which is like wind over needles, which is like scurrying animals, which is like home, which is like breathe, which is like thank you for the life you give, you tall, tall tree. The truck truck ride to Boston may be arduous, tossed on the back of a flatbed truck, but once it gets there, oh, the fanfare when it goes back up. Its new role is to be by many eyes beholden, spry and noble, strung with lights and stature hopeful. It will be statuesque in the town square and it will be there to stand for something global. And how many trees get to do that? I mean, they are gorgeous in the forest, sun streams in like an angel's chorus, cacophony of critters and birds and noises, the canopy, the curtain, the perfect floor for it. So it's not like this tree was lacking any joyfulness, but oh now the joy it's going to give. Moreover, the memory that it'll represent, all still and strong like that, to recall how Boston helped Halifax after it exploded. It is green and vibrant to offset the homes on fire. It is tall like the flames that ate the church spires. It is decorated like war vets, and like war vets it is likely spent and tired. In 1917, when two ships collided needlessly and then exploded and rained fire all over the city, which then caused a tsunami and citizens spiraled into panic, wires and telegrams sent out to explain it, the news and devastation, and all this before the blizzard even started. Well, Boston responded quickly. Doctors and supplies and generosity, a show of humanity. We are both port cities and we know the harsh of weather. We are both East Coast, and we know the cold of winter. If you take away one border, we are not so different, and even with it, we are in this world together. And so, in thanks, we send a tree down there, to Boston. Its many branches stand for the doctors and nurses, its timely arrival for the answered call then so urgent, the scent from its needles to replace all the places burning, the eyes that will gaze upon it in appreciation and joy instead of pain and worry, we deem this gift of nature to be worthy, as thanks for their duty. This tree has honor seeping like sap through its veins. Our veins, your veins, are deserving. It's a thing of beauty, evergreen from our soil. Tree farmers toil, the delivery, the well wishes. It's pure poetry, this gift giving. And we won't all see it in Boston, but we'll know it's there. Tall tree in the square getting oohed and awed at cleaning the air for the holidays, and when the time comes to take it down again, this tree will carry with it all the energy we've sent, all the gazes from Bostonians, all the birds, the squirrels that sat upon it, all the attention, good-natured, kind-heartedness. It will carry all of this back into the ground. When it becomes dust and ash like the buildings that once burned down, except that this tree goes with pride and thanks, recognition for the help then, the sacrifice that everybody gave. So if a tree falls in the forest, will anybody hear it? When a tree falls today and gets driven away to the Boston states, how about we send a mighty cheer for it? Thanks, everybody. Yeah.